Hi, everyone. Uh, I'd like to, number one, thank all the judges for being here. Thanks to everybody for coming. Um, it's, a, it's an honor to be able to present, <coughs> excuse me, be able to present alongside uh, people with, with a lot of really great ideas. So um, I really do appreciate the opportunity. Um, events like these are uh, awesome for young entrepreneurs, so it's really exciting to be able to participate. Um, first, I'd, I'd like to ask you, uh, if you're if you're anything like me, uh, you're probably shooting hoops in your driveway as a kid, or imagining yourself throwing that game-winning touchdown, winning the Super Bowl, or uh, hitting that home run to, to win the World Series. Well, odds are uh, that dream died in high school, or I know we have some athletes out there, so um, perhaps it ended in, in college, uh, but most likely. Most of us, at least, did not make it to play professional sports. So for those of us uh, weekend warriors out there, um, there are always the, uh, the local recreational leagues. Um, but we look to build on that and enhance that all through a simple act uh, that, that enables us to um, enhance competitive and social experiences of the 51.4 million Americans that are playing adults. That is, that are playing uh, recreational sports with regional and national tournaments, special events, cash prizes, video features, and much more. Again, all from a, from a simple app that's available for download now. Now, our product, uh, we have we have three. Well, I'm sorry, we have two primary customers. Um, one primary customer, our, our local league organizations, are are who we actually make our money from. Uh, but a lot of our benefits actually. Uh, benefit their players. Uh, so for our local league organizations, we sell them on um, increasing their revenue through uh, hosting regional and national tournaments, as well as through uh, national sponsorship uh, participation. Uh, we, we add value to their product uh, by, by offering all these great benefits to their players, uh, and we enable certain organizations to compete with others. Um, uh, some of you might know of, of an organization called Ultimate Hoops, which uh, basically is this idea, but, but it's very difficult for a lot of um, local municipalities or YMCAs or um, small recreation centers to be able to compete with Ultimate Hoops to, to put on these national tournaments because they are just one entity. So we're here to provide an umbrella and a network for them to be able to, to compete. So for the players, uh, they're able to um, now participate in, or well, they can they can view a national directory of our leagues. Uh, they can participate in the regional and national tournaments. They can win cash prizes. Uh, their videos, you know, they can, they can pull out their phone, add a game, record a cool dunk or a nice goal if it's soccer, uh, and uh, upload them straight to Players Revolution TV, which is basically like an ESPN of adult recreational sports. Um, and we, we enable uh, them to have unique social opportunities. So a lot of these local leagues, they already they already provide their players with um, the opportunity to go to a, a bar afterwards or something like that. We we basically put that on a on a macro scale at the national or the regional and national tournaments. So again, currently uh, local organizations offer varying levels of competition. Um, Small scales, you know, social opportunities afterwards, bar types of things, um, week to week games, and uh, t-shirts. So that's what you're playing for now if you're playing in one of these local leagues. But uh, with Players Revolution now, you're able to uh, right before your game, you can open up your app, you can see where your team ranks nationally, and you know what your goal is that you need to have for that game. You know, we need. We need to win this game to rank up or to be eligible for the tournament, or uh, we need a certain number of points, something like that. Um, they can, they can, they can see those video features. They can, it, essentially, they can see exactly what it is that they're playing for live from the app at their game. Uh, and we do provide those new revenue opportunities for the for the local league operators helping out local businesses uh, in our various markets. So we bill local league operators directly at a rate of nine dollars per team. Uh, our anticipated revenues are a little over seventy thousand, and, and anticipated first year expenses of around sixty-seven thousand. Our profit margins will greatly increase in our second year um, due to having fixed costs 
but an exponentially growing uh, base of, of customers. Uh, you can see the full projections in the business plan that I handed you um, for the judges, or uh, you can anybody else can see playersrep.com slash business plan and uh, you can request the password. Now distribution, our app is currently available for download, so I guess that would be my prototype. You know, you're more than welcome to download it on your phones right now. Uh, we promote two leagues through industry events and online outreach. So online outreach is essentially cold calling, but but the industry events is something that's that's very important to us. Uh, getting out there to those conferences and and speaking to people and shaking hands and, and informing them of exactly what this concept is all about. Uh, we promote directly to to the players um, through our local league partners. So when a league joins, they're required to uh, put out flyers, send out an email blast with links, obviously. Um, and we provide them with promotional materials such as t-shirts and uh, little wristbands like this one, things like that. Um, and then from a grassroots perspective, uh, we, we jump into conversations on social media all the time. So, for example, with the World Series coming up, we'll, we see people of, of like mind and, and similar interests. We jump in there, we'll talk baseball with them. And then hopefully say, well, what is Players Revolution? Click, boom, now they know. Uh, so we, we anticipate um, hopefully pressuring leagues to join us, also having, their, having players request that, that their leagues participate in, in our program. Our operating strategy. So there, there are essentially two categories of, of uh, responsibility here. Um, there, there are the responsibilities that Players Revolution holds solely, and then there are the responsibilities that we share with our local partners. Uh, so our responsibilities alone would be maintaining those, those leaderboards that you see on the app, um, awarding the cash prizes as well as you know, set, setting them up, uh, national sponsorship acquisition, and adding new local league partners. So obviously if we just have one league, this idea doesn't make a lot of sense. It's, it's when we have partners in all these markets all across the country that it really begins to, to uh, take shape. So it's, it's on us to make sure that we fill out that map. Um, now we did, I, I did outline that, that uh, local leagues do have an opportunity to, to make money themselves and in doing so they do share in some responsibility. So we hope to minimize our risk and uh, hopefully our investment by allowing and, and ho hopefully help our uh, local league partners to to benefit from hosting regional and national tournaments themselves. Much like the Super Bowl is awarded, we plan to award our events uh, to our local partners, and, and they can, depending on how much responsibility and how much financial risk they take on, they can receive up to 100% of the revenue by doing so. Um, and then also, we share a responsibility of promoting to the players. If the players are unaware of the benefits that they now receive by being in a, in a member league, um, it basically does no good. So it's on them to make sure that they fill out their contractual obligations as well. Funding. So our concept, as you can see, if you have downloaded the app or when you do, uh, it, it is fully developed and essentially we've, we've got a skeleton here that needs to be fleshed out the way we do that is with funding. Um, we need approximately $50,000 to get started. Uh, that would be going directly towards cash prizes, attending these conferences, uh, putting, putting, uh, putting reservations down on regional and national tournament sites so that we can promise this to lead partners in order to get them to jump on board. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, just cash flow. So. so I encourage you to please join the revolution today. You can check us out, uh, like I said, on Google Play or on the App Store uh, and app on, on the Apple platform. Uh, or just visit playersrevolution.com and uh, please join me in leading the revolution. Thank you. At this time, I would invite the uh, judges to ask any questions they have of uh, one of our players revolution sports LLC. Yeah, can you walk me through how the uh, cash prize will work? Certainly. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, so what you would do is, is on the app, from, from a player's perspective, on the app, uh, you, would, you would select the tab that I believe says cash prizes. It outlines what the prize is, you know, 
there's a name, a title for the prize, there's the criteria for the prize, there's the prize amount and the dates at which it is open, you know, uh, you're eligible to win it. And then afterwards we award it. We, we do cash prizes on a team and an individual level. Um, unfortunately, there aren't that many stat leagues out there right now, so it's kind of difficult for us to base it, you know, say the, the top points per game getter. Mm -hmm. um, eventually, we'd love to do that, but uh, right now, for individual side, we'll do more, um, you know, the best highlight that we were able to see recorded, something like that, be a lot of video based. Um, and then you can see all the, all the team prizes, those, those are easy because they're just based on the game to game results. Um, so you can, you can see all those. You can basically see what it is you're working towards there, and then in the standings tab, you can see your progress level towards it. Yes, sir? You, you mentioned that there's been competitors already, or people have tried this? Um, similar. Uh, not, nothing quite like what we do. So there, there's, I, I, when, when I get asked this question, I like to kind of um, cite two models. One is the USSSA, and another one is, is Ultimate Hoops. So USSSA, uh, they partner largely with municipalities across the country, and they require those municipalities follow their rules, play into their national tournaments. We, on the other hand, say, you, Mr. League owner, you can now host your own regional tournament, and you can play by your rules. Now, we'll negotiate how that's weighted in the national standings, but you run your own league, we respect that, and we want to help you join in the province. So that's the USSSA, and that's, those are the differences. Um, from the Ultimate Hoops perspective, they're owned by Lifetime Fitness. Number one, they only do basketball. We look to expand to multiple sports. Uh, we're starting with three, um, kickball, soccer, and basketball. Uh, but they, they only do basketball. They're very expensive, and they do not partner with, with any outside organizations. Uh, they just run their own. So that leaves all these other outside organizations in a place of not being able to compete. You've got Ultimate Hoops up here. You've got everybody else here. We look to fill that gap. Yeah. That's my Did you charge per app? That's not a big source of revenue. For no, no, um, we do not at this point. Uh, it's the app is free to download. Uh, the fee will be charged directly to the leagues, and that, for the record, that's actually the place where we look to make our money. Is on that nine dollars per team per season um, fee that, that's being billed directly to the leagues. The players won't see any charges unless they actually want to participate in these regional or national tournaments. And then, then there, is a, there is a fee to participate in those, um, which just hopefully helps us break even. It helps, the, helps our partners to, to get back their investment in it as well. Uh, but you know, even for those, we, we look to, to grant some of those based on achievements as, as a team. Excellent. Uh, thank you very, very much. Yes, thank you.